hello and good day everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to discuss about machine learning using the iris flower dataset in this machine in this video I'm going to use k-means combination of k-means clustering and a neural network classifier so let's start we First of all, we need to load the data from k-means, sklearn cluster, and import also the tensorflow module as well as numpy. And then we're going to load the iris dataset. sklearn.datasets import, import load iris. So iris is a dataset inside the sklearn, sklearn datasets libraries. Okay. And if we run this, we can we know that there, there is uh, 150 data points or rows, mm -hmm. and we have four distinct um, attributes or inputs. So if going to check out the head of it, so we have uh, the data is contains about three, four columns, starting from column four to three. So this first column is the sepal length. The second column is a sepal width and petal length and petal width on the fourth column. And the target names are the following Setosa, Versicol, or Virginica. So we have three target names. So the output should be classified as, as either Setosa, Versicol, or Virginica. So we're going to predict based on the given attributes the sepals and the petals on which which flower is it so we need to know which type of flower is it so the, here are the steps first of all we need to divide the data set into the train validate and test set as we all know there are three there should be three clusters because we have three outputs so we need to create three a uh, uh, k k k means of three for the sepal length so we need to create I'm going to create um, I'm going to cluster this into three three groups and the petal and petal width also with for uh, three groups okay and afterwards we need to feed this engineered feature we're going to have two features first we're going to have four features one two three four then we combine these two so we only have two columns or two features and it will be the input to the neural network okay so I decided to split the data set into 50% training set 20% validation set and 30% for testing in order to split the data set I need to shovel it using np.random.shovel okay so he indexes is the list of index from 1 to 150 or 0 I mean 0 to 150 or 0 and afterwards we need to random it okay and upon random randomization I'm going to get only about 50% that's 0 to 74 okay the indexes random this is the what you call this this is the place in the index and then the validation will be the next 20 20 percent and the test set the remaining okay now the inputs we're going to just put this in the variable inputs the array of the iris data and the targets the target again here we just put it here and then using the index here on the stop I'm going to get the training set and the training attributes and the training targets the white train okay but you just putting here in the index okay and then afterwards I'm going to do the same with the validation set and the test sets so after splitting the data here I'm going to create I'm going to input some additional modules from sklearn okay so here's the strategy first strategy is that this input data this we need to first um, standardize this afterwards I'm going to cluster these two 
and also class are this additional to then we're going to have only two columns okay after those I'm going to encode it using one hot encoder okay because in each each of these columns we have we, we have 0 1 and 2 so there are three classifications in each columns so so I'm going to one hot encode them so we're going to have the output should be about six columns okay so here's the we need to input this first okay pipeline so I'm going to make a pipeline and I'm going to make a class a trans a transformer a transformer class and I'm going to use a standard scalar and one hot encoder okay actually I'm not going to use column transformer it's just here okay so you we need we don't need to use this so I'm going to in order to process these inputs these inputs I need to cluster them as I said a while ago so I have created a class called preprocessor this class will take care of the clustering of the four columns two columns each the petals and the set and the sepals so the sepal columns the two sepal columns I'm going to make k initiate it in a k means of three cluster and the petal columns with k means of three cluster then I'm going to fit it so as you can see here x is the input data so I'm going just to select only column 0 up to column 1 okay that is a sepal columns sepal columns and the petal columns are the following from column 2 up to column 3 okay then afterwards I'm going to transform the data and use and cluster it by using the predict method okay predict method of the class k means this is a class k means I'm going to predict it so the output of this one and this one are two columns so as you can see here this is the first column the sepal column and this is the second column the petal column then I'm going to return this columns okay so here's the pipeline so first the data will be scaled using standard scalar afterwards it will go to this preprocessor preprocessor class here and then I'm going to encode them because the output of this again are two columns I'm going to encode each column will become three columns because each column contains three classification so it will become six columns so one hat encoded okay the output of this one will be feed will be fed into the neural network so as you can see here the train inputs now is that the data x training data and I fit and transform it using this pipe my pipeline next the targets are still the same I didn't do anything about this so why train okay I also created the validation inputs and validation targets same the validation input should be transform but as you can see here there's no more fit transform is just transform Y because the fit parameters are already inside this pipeline okay when I'm going to use again this pipeline to transform another inputs so there's no need to fit it because it's already fit from the training data set that is the idea so just transform them so what this means is that when you run this preprocessor it will not go anymore to fit but it will go directly to the transform Okay, because it's already been fitted so it will just transform okay so go be given the parameters the parameters of this inside here you can find the standard scalar the mean and the standard deviation and here you can find here the fit data here of this preprocessor and this data again and this one hot encoder data so the what you call these parameters will just transform this new data set the x validation data set okay next I'm going to make a neural network classifier so we all, we all know that the output size is 3 so that's either 0 1 and 2 
and the inputs are you already know the inputs are this one the train tar train inputs and the outputs is a train targets so the inputs is, is composed of six columns so in this neural network so I make here the early stopping mechanism so the it will stop training itself when when a certain error increases okay so the patience is equal to two so when the error is going up so it will stop training okay so here's the model definition the model sequence sequential and you have one two three it's a three layer actually it's a four layer neural network okay so it becomes with eight, eight first it has eight, 81 nodes hidden layer 27 hidden and actually the input layer is about uh, what you call it six okay six it's six inputs and going to 81 hidden then 27 then nine and the output size is three okay so the activation is this one cell cell and relu and softmax okay now to compile it the optimizer is adam adam and the loss is a sparse categor categorical cross entropy so this will output uh, what you call this a one hot encoded out output so that's it so the metrics is accuracy how accurate is the model okay then we fit the model here fit it one so the batch size since this is just only 150 data points okay so i just make the batch size as one and the max epochs is 100 okay the valid we have here the batch size the epochs validation data we need to validate it upon training and the verbose is too and call box is early stopping okay series down the first epoch the second up to 10 so the accuracy is at 93 based on the validation data set okay but when we test it when we test it using the test set as you can see here i evaluate the model model that evaluate using my pipe that transforms so i'm just transforming again not fit transform but transform again based on the training parameters so the the training the test inputs x test and the test output y test okay afterwards we got here the accuracy of 97.78 so that is the accuracy of the our model next we need to check with the confusion matrix i put here a confusion matrix so that i can visualize on uh, which uh, which type of flower does the model make the mistake in classifying so again so the predictions so model that predict predict the test okay put it in predictions and we need to round it up and make it an integer because we know that the, the test output files output or the tar test targets are integers from 0 to 2 0 1 and 2 okay but again we know that since it's a one hot encoder we need to convert it back convert it back into zero one and two okay so i need to first fit again the one hot encoder in the y test data okay just to and then after that i reshape it because the test data is not in vertical so it's it's just plain horizontal so i need to have it in the vertical column Okay, then I reverse transform it. So the predicted now one hot after inverse transform. So the predicted now is now in terms of zero, one, and two. Okay, it's not already in a one hot encoded format. Now, as you can see, here's a confusion matrix, but it's much better that it will be having some labels on the index in the columns so here it is now confusion matrix in a pandas data frame okay we have here the true citosa this is actually the true values so we have here true there is true citosa true versicolor and true virginica so that's in citosa so it predicted 12 out of 12 so there's no mistake so the 
So the neural network, the, the machine did not have commit a mistake in predicting the true value. Uh, this is the same with the versicolor, so 18, but it made one mistake in predicting virginica, okay? Instead of uh, telling that it's virginica, one of them, it, the, the, what you call this the algorithm, predicted that it is a versicolor instead of a virginica. So it has one mistake, so it has about 97% accuracy as stated here, 97.78% accuracy. Okay, so here's the model summary. Okay, these are the number of parameters in the model. Okay, now I'm going to download or save the model. Saving the model is important when you want to uh, want to use this machine learning trained algorithm in order in order to predict new inputs. Okay, if you're going to use this in production, you may wish to save it. Okay, so that it can run without these data files. So job lib just dump. So I'm going to job to dump my pipeline here, my pipe, and I'm going to also to dump this one hot after this is the decoder of the one hot encoder after the prediction so i need to download this because the parameters i'm interested with the parameters of this so that next time when i'm going to decode it so i can use this one okay now in order to save this is wrong actually the neural network it's a tensor flow so i'm going to make this one so model that save this is the fun this is the command Aris model the name of the model and the save format is a tens tensor flow okay so I already saved the model and I already saved the pre-processing pipeline this my pipe and a post-processing uh, function which is this one and also I need to copy this I need to copy this class this class okay and put it in a module okay so if you're interested you may watch the next video in which I'm going to create a module out of this model so that I can use the module and use the model in predicting new sets of data okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video click subscribe and bye